Dragon's Model Madness. Today I'm going to show you a box kit that I have not built yet. It is an F-18C Hornet. Uh, it's from Ravel. Now I say I have not built this kit. Yes, true. Partly not true. Um, I have built the kit before uh, a long time ago. Uh, didn't really take a whole lot of time with it. Didn't do a very good job. And I actually rebuilt the kit as a Blue Angels plane. So I got some Blue Angels decals, uh, took the airplane apart as best I could, did some sanding, had to clean up the canopy. It's not a great uh, Blue Angels plane, but uh, it looks a whole lot better than it did before I took it apart. So um, the kit that I got, I actually bought it at a flea market. I got it for eight bucks. So it was a heck of a deal. It's a 148 scale, like I said, Ravel F-18 Charlie. And I'm gonna go over um, what's inside the box. And then I'm gonna show you the Blue Angels kit that I've already built, uh, excuse me, built in the past. And let you kind of get a, uh, an idea of what this thing's gonna look like when we're done. So I hope you enjoy the video. Um, as usual, if you do like what you see, please hit the like button and subscribe to my channel. Um, I'm gonna be doing these, uh, these videos pretty often, trying to keep things uh, lively, get new content. So anyway, thanks for watching, hope you enjoy. So let's go ahead and get started. Let's take a look at what's inside the box and then we'll talk about the, the one that I already built. Um, same model, uh, just, uh, I don't know, eight, 10 years apart. So, Like I said, I got this box, uh, this model, at the flea market. Um, now one thing I do know about this kit right off the bat, um, I mean, everything's decent. Uh, you get some sidewinder missiles, uh, you get centerline drop tank in the model. Uh, these are all the doors. You actually get a pilot figure, which uh, I didn't use, I hardly ever did. You get two different uh, exhaust nozzle positions. You get an open position and a closed position. Uh, this is the actual radome for the plane. And these are just inserts for the afterburner cans. Um, you look up into the exhaust and see up inside. Now, uh, the ejection seat, I'm sorry I skipped over that, is right here. And we also have the instrument panel for the cockpit. Okay. And on this sprue, we have the horizontal tail, vertical tail. Now one of them has come off, it's in the box, so it's, it's still there. Uh, we got the tires, and of course the tires are two halves that you have to put together. Um, launch rails, uh, wing stations, speed brake, um, fins for the missiles, some of the landing gear uh, components. Now, nice thing is you get little tie downs, which uh, Navy aircraft, when they're on board the carrier, they use these tie downs to hold the airplanes to the deck as the, the ship pitches back and forth, keeps the airplane from rolling around. This sprue is the lower half of the fuselage and part of the wings. Um, now you got some pretty good detail in the landing gear area. Um, the one thing that I really do not like about this model is once you put the intake on the side of the airplane, let's see if I can position this up here for you. Um, when you're looking down the intake right here, it's, it's just, it's a flat wall. There's nothing there. So you can actually see inside and tell that there is no engine in this airplane, in this model. And that was the one thing that I really didn't like about it. Otherwise, it's not a bad build, uh, plenty of detail. I mean, it's really not a, a very expensive kit to begin with, even if you do buy it out of the store. Like I said, I got it at the flea market for eight bucks. So uh, definitely a steal uh, at that price. So you got uh, some good panel lines. Um, now, one thing that I really wish you could do with this is maybe build it with the flaps lower and the slats down, but they're molded in place and it would be rather difficult to cut them and make everything look correctly. It can be done, but it's not something that I want to try to tackle. And again, 
again, another uh, gut wing stations. Um, they got some uh, free fall bombs that you can put on the airplane. Uh, and some miscellaneous parts, again, uh, stuff that goes. These are part of the wing stations. These are the anti-sway braces for the bombs. Uh, some of your uh, radar blisters. Uh, these are basically antenna covers that'll go on the airplane at different points. Uh, these go on the waist, um, under, or right above where the landing gear are, underneath the wings, on, on the side of the fuselage. And these are basically missile stations uh, that, that you can put on. These are fairings, by the way. I believe that's proper name. And you get a sprue of the, uh, the, the clear pieces. Uh, you get four nav canopy, you get the HUD or the heads up display, and you get a couple of lenses for um, laser designators. So uh, I don't know what the name of, of the pod is that goes on the side of the F-18. I'll show you the decal sheet real quick. They, um, you can build, uh, this is VFA-105, they're called the Gunslingers. Um, this is actually the, the green one, is the version that I built before, previously, the one that I turned into the Blue Angels model. Um, these decals started yellowing over time, and it really didn't look that great. So I don't know if I'm going to use this decal sheet, or I might go online and see if I can find another one, <coughs> excuse me, and maybe order a uh, different decal sheet. And finally, uh, you have your instruction manual. Uh, I recall that the instructions were pretty straightforward. Um, it talks about the paints that you're going to need, the colors that you'll need. Um, it gives you uh, certain things that, that you can um, add to the airplane, like right here. Uh, this is basically, you can cut this out and make the, uh, the parachute harness to go on the ejection, the ejection seat. Um, and it shows you how to do that. Uh, instructions, putting everything together. I mean, real straightforward. In the back it shows you paint schemes, uh, colors to use, shows you where the, uh, the difference between the two colors is on the aircraft, shows you where the uh, decals are supposed to go. So, overall, nice to get this kit for eight bucks at the, at the flea market. I actually got this plus two other kits. All of them are eight bucks each. Uh, and I uh, couldn't pass that up. Okay, the uh, Revell 148 scale F-18 Charlie. This is basically a rebuild. Um, I built this kit. Again, I know I'm repeating myself, but I built this uh, particular model about 10 years ago. I built it as a fleet squadron for VFA 105. And it just it began to look horrible after a while, so I decided to tear it apart. I took the landing gear off of it. Um, I took the horizontal tails off. I took all the landing gear doors off of it. Uh, I took the canopy off of it. Um, tried to break it down as far as I could without uh, really tearing up the model and I decided to redo it as a Blue Angel airplane. Now, like I said, it turned out fairly well. Um, this airplane does have a coat of gray paint underneath it, just like most Blue Angel planes. Um, but because of that, some of the panel lines are not as distinct as they should have been so one of the big things that i had to do um, when i took the canopy off i had a big smear on the inside of the canopy from the glue uh the first time that i put this sanded the together. canopy with uh sandpaper and then i went to a finer grade and i sanded some more and then a finer grade and i did this 10 different steps getting finer every time with the sandpaper and I was able to sand out the uh, the mark from the glue and the canopy actually cleared up pretty well. Now um, after I was done sanding um, I used 
future. Uh, it's a acrylic floor wax. Actually, I think they might call it something else now uh, and not future, but I just dipped the canopy in future, uh, set it on a paper towel, and I let it dry overnight. And like I said, that canopy actually turned out really well. Uh, one of the pedostatic probes here underneath the nose was missing, so I actually hand built one of those. Uh, and I don't remember which one it is. I can't really tell to be quite honest. I think it might be the one closest to us here um, in this shot. But I redid the gear, uh, cleaned everything up, freshened up the white paint. Um, like I said, I had the gear doors off and everything. Now because this is a Blue Angels airplane, uh, I kept it as clean as possible because, um, well, I knew some folks that were in the Blue Angels. Uh, they were the maintenance support staff and they would tell stories of how they would go out and whack these airplanes all the time. So I know that they were always clean. Uh, if you ever saw a Blue Angels airplane that was dirty, then somebody wasn't doing their job. But anyway, like I said, uh, the plane actually turned out really well. Uh, the decal sheet, if I remember correctly, came from uh, Afterburner Decal, uh, but uh, it was available online. I want to say that the decal sheet may have cost $15, but uh, so looking uh, inside the, the Afterburner, uh, the burner cans, the exhaust nozzles there, like I said, I repainted all of that, uh, got everything all cleaned up, but uh, all in all, I think that this model turned out well. It is a very good representation of the lead solo plane for the Blue Angels, which is the number five airplane. So uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this look at the, uh, the Blue Angels uh, remake of the Revell F-18 148 scale. Uh, I forgot to mention one of the things that I had to do when I changed it into a Blue Angels airplane was there is a gun port on the nose and it is right here. It's very hard to see in the video, I think. There's a little blister there. All right, that is the gun port for the internal gun. Uh, the Blue Angels airplanes actually have that closed off and so that's what I did on the model as well as I closed that off. Really hope you enjoy this look at uh, at my models at the kit and if you like what you saw please make sure that you hit the like button subscribe to my channel and if you have any comments leave them down below uh, if you have questions ask and I will try to get back to you as soon as I can thank you very much